Let's talk about multiplication of fractions. So we'll try to understand what does it mean to multiply a fraction by another fraction. That's the goal of this video. So let's first talk about the algorithm that most of us are familiar with. Even a fifth grader would know how to multiply three-fourths by two-thirds. And what you do is you take the two numerators, for instance 3 and 2, and you multiply them, you get 6. And then you take the two denominators, 4 and 3, you multiply them, you get 12. And 6 twelfths is the same as 1 half. Or let's say you had 3 fourths times 3 fifths, you multiply 3 by 3, you get 9, you multiply 4 by 5, you get 20. So the answer is 9 twentieths. Now this is an algorithm. What is an algorithm? An algorithm is a rule that helps you achieve an answer or get to an answer. It doesn't have to have any reasoning behind it. Now, there is, if the algorithm is valid, there's a lot of reasoning behind the algorithm, but the person who's using the algorithm doesn't have to know the reasoning behind the algorithm. And that's one of the problems with using an algorithm blindly students are expected to understand the meaning of, a, of an algorithm because if they don't, they cannot solve word problems. We want our students, middle school students, high school students, college level students, to solve problems, not just turn themselves into a machine that can crank out some mysterious answers and when you ask them what does it mean, they would say, hmm, I'm not quite sure. So the goal is to understand the meaning, understand why certain things in mathematics work the way they do. So we are going to go beyond the algorithm. We are all familiar with the algorithm of multiplication. We just went over it. But we are going to explain what it means to multiply a fraction by another fraction visually. And sometimes people use the word modeling. It's called modeling of multiplication of fractions as well. Now, if you ask somebody, sometimes even college level students to give you a word problem that will have the problem solver multiply a fraction by another fraction, they sometimes struggle constructing word problems. So why do they struggle? They understand, they recognize fractions. Let's assume they do, most of them do. And they understand what multiplication generally means, but they, many of them, or at times, some of them, would struggle coming up with a word problem. And the reason being, I believe, is because they don't probably understand what it really means to multiply a fraction by another fraction. So we're going to go over the visual explanation of uh, visual explanation for the multiplication of a fraction by another fraction, and we're going to see if we can construct a word problem. All right. Before we multiply a fraction by another fraction, let's try to understand what we mean by three fourths times twelve. That to me means, and to many of us probably it means three-fourths of twelve. Well, one-fourth of twelve is three, so three-fourths of twelve would be three times three or nine. So let's see if we can come up with another example. What about, say, something like one-half times, let's say, twenty. And that means, to me, one half of twenty. And what's half of twenty? Ten. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to understand the connection between multiplying a fraction by a whole number or a fraction by another fraction and the link between this multiplication symbol and the word of in English. There is a strong link. It can be interpreted in this manner. Half times 20 or half multiplied by 20 can be read as half of 20. So we're going to use that concept to to model multiplication of fractions. Here we go. So let's say how do we model uh, 3 fourths multiplied by 2 thirds? To me it also means 3 fourths of two-thirds. So I have a fraction two-thirds. I'm interested in three-fourths of that fraction two-thirds. So I have two-thirds. 
okay? I am interested in three-fourths of this, okay? In order to handle that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a rectangle that's three by four. Three and four are the two denominators. Three is one of the denominators and four is the other denominator. So this three and this four, we're going to use those two numbers to form a three by four rectangle and we're going to tell you or explain to you why that's a good choice. So I have a three by four rectangle. It looks like a candy bar. So we're going to pretend it's a candy bar. So what I have here is a three by four rectangle that looks like a candy bar. Why is it a good choice? Well, it's a good choice because I can easily express two-thirds. This is going to be two-thirds of my candy bar. One-third, two-thirds. Okay, I can do that. I can also easily express three-fourths. One-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths. So it's a good choice for my whole because I can use this whole to easily represent two-thirds and three-fourths and that's all I care about for, for the sake of this problem. So another important point, we're going to start with the second fraction, this one. So we're going to first shade in two-thirds because we are interested in three-fourths of two-thirds so we're going to first find two-thirds. So, here is two-thirds. What I shaded in purple is two-thirds of my original candy bar. Okay, why is it two-thirds? Well, it's pretty easy to see. This is one-third, the top strip is one-third, the second strip is two-thirds, and the third strip, if you add it, that'll be three-thirds, that's your whole candy bar, and you shaded two out of three, that's two-thirds. Now, we are not done we first started with the second fraction two-thirds, we shaded two-thirds, we shaded it purple. Now we have to look, find out three-fourths of this purple, sh uh, purple bar. So we are interested in three-fourths of what's purple now. I don't care about the whole candy bar anymore. So what's three-fourths of the two-thirds? Well, I shaded it in red and this is, this whole thing was purple and I shaded three-fourths of that. Now, I am interested in what is this red chunk as a part of the entire candy bar. In other words, what part of the entire candy bar is the red chunk? And the answer is 6 out of 12. The red chunk, I have 6 pieces and the entire candy bar has 12 pieces. So my answer should be My answer should be 6 out of 12, which is also 1 half. That's my answer. So I got my answer visually. So what it means, multiplication of fractions simply means that if you have 3 fourths times 2 thirds, you can look at it as if you're interested in 3 fourths of 2 thirds. So you start with your whole, a 3 by 4 whole, based on the two denominators. You first shade your 2 thirds, the second fraction, and then you find 3 fourths of that. And whatever you shade, finally, is going to be, basically the answer will be, what part of the original candy bar is your final shading? So what part of the whole candy bar is the red pieces? So the answer is 6 twelfths, or 1 half. Let's take a look at another example. We're looking at, let's say, 3 fourths times, or 3 fourths multiplied by 3 fifths, which means 3 fourths of 3 fifths. And as discussed before, we're going to start with a 4 by 5 rectangle. We're going to first shade in 3 fifths. Clearly, this is 3 fifths, 1 fifth, 2 fifths, three-fifths, and we're not done. We want to find three-fourths of this, three-fourths of this, which turns out to be this. So my final answer is, what part of the whole candy bar is the purple shading? The answer is
sorry, let's put it correctly, equal to 9 purple, I have 9 squares representing the purple shading, divided by uh, the entire original candy bar is 20. That's my answer, 9 over 20. So let's see what kind of word problem we can come up with that will ask the problem solver to multiply a fraction by another fraction. Um, here is what I have. Anne gave Beth two-fifths of a whole candy bar that she had. Beth gave Cindy one-fourth of what she received from Anne. What part of the whole candy bar did Cindy receive? So as before, let's try to model the problem. I'm going to start with a 5 by 4 rectangle to represent my candy bar. Here's my candy bar which is 5 by 4. Now, Beth didn't get the whole candy bar. This is what you see on the screen as Anne's candy bar. Beth got two-fifths of this, only two-fifths. This is what Beth got, two-fifths, what's outlined in red. Now, what did Cindy get? Cindy got one-fourth of this stuff in red. So Cindy only got this. Cindy got this much which is one-fourth of the stuff that was outlined in red. Now, what part of the entire candy bar did Cindy receive? She got 2 out of 20 chunks. Anne originally had 20 chunks, and Cindy ended up getting only 2. So the final answer is 2 out of 20, which turns out to be 1 out of 10. So Cindy got one-tenth of the candy bar, original candy bar. Now, I would ask you to come up with a word problem of your own that involves multiplication of one fraction by another fraction.